have an eight on your side consumer report helping you save money on gas. And we spend a lot of money on gas. According to the AAA, the American, the average American driver spends about two thousand dollars a year on gasoline. Let me repeat that for you: two thousand dollars a year. So. Maybe it's no surprise to hear that during the month of this past May, a record setting amount of electric cars were sold here in the United States. Eight on your side wanted to find out what it's like to own an electric vehicle. Ask Keith Dodlin about his electric car, and he'll immediately tell you two things. I love it. I'm saving money uh, on gas. Then ask him if he thinks more drivers should consider going electric. It's not for everybody. Would you want it as your primary only car? That car? No, because it's too limited. Let me know when we're buckled. I am. About a year ago, Keith, his wife, and their three daughters decided they were ready for an all electric car. They still have a gas powered hybrid for long trips, but this is the car they use for local errands like grocery store runs, swim practice, and shopping. And you're going to be within a 30 mile radius all day long. There's nothing to worry about. Keith says his Nissan Leaf has a range of 70 miles on a full charge, and he enjoys the challenge of plotting out his trip in advance. One of the biggest fears for people is range anxiety, running out of battery before you get to your destination. But what's it like actually getting to your destination? What's this like on the highway? I mean, can you do 65? Oh, easy. Really? It's like a rocket ship. Rocket ship? Well, let's see about that. That's it? You just turned it on? Yep, just the pretty music and a bunch of lights going on. I must admit, the car accelerated quickly and it had a very nice ride, just like a normal car. When you're actually driving, what do you watch on the dashboard? This tells me my current m miles per kilowatt hour. It also shows how many miles I have left. The car has heat, a powerful air conditioner, and a stereo system powered by a small solar panel on the roof. Nothing you miss about a gas car? No. To charge the battery, Keith simply plugs it into an outlet in his garage. He uses the trickle charger that came with the car, the cheapest and the slowest way of charging. More powerful charging systems can be installed in your garage at an extra cost. What's it done to your electric bill? Nothing that I've noticed. Seriously. Seriously. I asked him that question many times. Keith also says the electric car has had a minimal impact on his auto insurance rates. Now, the Nissan Leaf that we showed you is the best selling electric car in America right now. It has a base price of about $30,000, but with state and federal incentives, you can cut the cost by $9,000. Janelle was very anxious to hear that information. Keith says he's taken his car on longer electric trips, but he's always sure that there's a charging station near his destination, and he's got an app on his phone to find out where charging stations are. Now, right now here in the Susquehanna Valley, we have only about 20 of those charging stations, but there's more on the way. This was a cool car, I got to tell you. Uh, and you fit into it. It looked a little small. You're a tall guy. I fit in it quite comfortably. What do we do? Say everybody saw this and we all ran out. A lot of people got electric cars after this. Those charging stations, I mean, you can use your app to find out where they are, but there could be somebody on them. And then what do you do? You have to wait in line. You just have to wait. But there's more coming. Okay, good. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Very intriguing. All right. We go now to a live look from our York Skycam. Look at that. It's a little bit dark and foreboding. The News 8 storm team is tracking that severe weather, where it's hitting next, coming up.